once again for the left hand. You're seeing the young man stand work. That's what you're seeing right now. Some of the greatest fighters of all time have held the WBC Super Lightweight title. Now the green and gold belongs to Regis Progre, a man whose only loss came at the hands of a razor-thin majority decision against Josh Taylor. Outside of that performance, Progre hasn't just beaten guys, he's punished them, amassing a record that currently stands at 29-1 with 24 knockouts. Now that destroyer is putting his gold on the line against another current top 10 fighter on the planet in former undisputed lightweight champion, Devin Haney. This is one of the best fights this year. Simply put, Haney has never fought someone with the power Progre possesses. And Progre has never fought someone with the skills Haney has. On top of Progre's power comes the fact this is also the first fight at 140 for Haney, a weight class Ruguru has campaigned at for his entire career. If Progre wins, he puts himself in the pound for pound debates and finally gets the recognition he's been waiting for. Haney needs to win to not only become a two division champion, but to also get the big fights he wants with the likes of Gervonta Davis, Tiafimo Lopez and Shakur Stevenson. They will stand similar in height, but the reach advantage will go to the slick boxer, which is Haney, who possesses one of the best jabs in the entire sport. But he has no idea what it's like to fight at this level, at this weight. Progre does, and has been in the ring with the most recent undisputed champion at 140. Can Ruguru find a way to neutralize that jab and counter with his notorious right hand? or will Haney use it to kickstart the rest of his repertoire? That'll be the difference maker on Fight Night. A matchup that has everything necessary for big fight feels, and an entertaining scrap that'll have fans around the world on the edge of their seat. Haney vs. Progre, December 9th, what boxing is all about.